Okay. All right. Don't know what. Well, I don't know if I checked. Guess I did. Okay, so let's see. We'll go. Oh, and that blocky texture has gone away, but I think that's because it's already uncovered map portion. Sometimes if my computer's right. in 32-bit color, it, um... Okay, charcoal charm. We might as well take anything that we find, because we don't know what's going to be... Oh, get it out of the way. We All don't right. know what's going to be useful or not. So unless we start running out of room... I'm gone. Okay, it's like a landing there. I think we'll go... Oh, I'm going to save again. Just We'll go this way first. Since I'm doing this blind, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of reloading. Um, junk. Well... Uh, I guess we'll carry that for a while. I don't know. Oh, there's Noodle and Thread. Okay. What is that? Dust Man. It's kind of weird that we're just... Well, this mummified corpse looks like it's bound for the crematorium. Done. And we are on mortuary third floor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, well now that we have dust man. Skeleton worker. Let's talk to this guy. This skeleton, number 748, according to the number chiseled above its brow, is odd only in that some of its teeth appear to be false ones made of reddish-brown stone. They're clearly not valuable, however, as its caretakers would have otherwise removed them. Have you seen any skeletons walking around here? Uh... Why the smock? Let's examine it carefully. Someone is taking care to bind the bones of the skeleton with leather straps woven around the body in such a pattern that they resemble muscles and tendons. The straps are secured to metal bolts punched into the skeleton's joints. The skeleton looks like it has seen a great deal of service. Many of its bones are chipped and its numerous fractures are bound with sealant and foul-smelling glues. Um, I don't know why we'd try to pry out the skeleton's joint bolts. Guess we'll leave it in peace for now. Hmm, wonder if this gray beard would mind if I borrowed his body. Uh, gray beard? You know, geezer, old fellow, yellow dog. Oh, oh okay. Uh, huh. <laughs> Something tells me you would be twice as annoying if you had arms. Well... I don't know why... I think we'll... You are a sack full of laughs. Ma Mort glares at you. Mirrors beg for mercy when you are around. Uh-huh. At least I have all my parts. Mort snorts. You're not quite sure how he managed it without lungs. <laughs> how is he talking without lungs? Let me tell you more. There's nothing more satisfying. Uh, yeah, I guess we could gloat to him about having a body. It's now on my gr helping you escape the preparation room has now been added to my growing list of regrets. Okay. Right. Okay, so that gone. just circled around. Alright, so let's bring this thread back to 
Evine, I think it was. Evine. Even, I don't know. All right. Let's see. Sorry if you could hear that, that was my dryer just... Oh! I'm just gonna right click to... adjust the... Guess that brings up a menu. I was just gonna try to, you know, change the where they're standing, but I guess you can't do that. At least not with right clicking. Uh, she's still dissecting. Okay, so we have, we have your stuff. Dumb zombies. She clacks her taloned fingers together impatiently, then makes a stitching motion with her fingers. Find thread and impal- okay, give her the Updated thread. my journal. Oh, experience. Without missing a beat, Evine snaps the thread from you and hands from your hands and hooks it around one of her talons, then begins sewing up the corpse's chest. Wait. Within minutes she is finished. She clicks her talons and then turns to face you. To your surprise, she extends her hand and drags her talons along your arms and chest. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, so she probably thinks that we are one of the zombies. Not sure what she thinks of Mort. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's just know if she's dangerous or not. Looks like you have a new friend, Chief. You two need some time together, or... Uh... Uh... I don't know what she'd do if we started talking. I guess... Well... As she traces your arms and chest, you suddenly notice she seems to be examining your scars. She withdraws her talons, clicks them twice, then bends forward and examines some of the tattoos on your chest. Hmm, who right on you? Hivers do that? No respect for zombies. Zombies, not paintings. She sniffs, then pokes one of your scars. This one, bad shape, many scars, no pre-surfs. Okay. Her talons suddenly look hook into the thread you brought her and lightning she lightning like she jabs another talon into the skin near one of your scars. Well we don't our scars are kind of like our journal. So I don't think we really want her to fix them. So I think we're gonna she looks shocked as, shocked as you push her away. Zomfi, you know Zomfi. She takes a step back. Then before you could react, she, clamp, she claps her hands three times in response to the tolling of a huge... Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, well, she was pretty easy to kill anyway. Embalming room key. Needle and thread. Copper earring. Jagged knife. That's probably a better weapon than the scalpel. Alright. Okay. All right. So I don't know what's uh room. Okay, so we have embalming room key. I think the only locked door... Well, there was one big one in here, right? Yeah. That might... Oh. So I think stairs, we have to open that door. That's why I didn't see them before. Okay. Well, being that there's an alarm, I guess, sounded. Don't know that we want to go up any further. So we could also see if that's the key for that. Or I'm gone. Is. All right.
So we're looking for thread and embalming I'm juice gone. or embalming potion. That's uh, another um. rotating slab. Um, Done. Doesn't look like we can pick anything up. Done. It's a little door. Oh, never mind. That's the door we just came through. Okay. I'm gone. Down here. Guess it might not be on this floor. In which case. All right. We might not come all the way back. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. Jar of embalming fluid. Okay. Done. This little door. This door is locked. There's stairs, right. but we're not quite ready to go up there. This container is locked. Okay. I'm gone. I wouldn't think thread would be in a locked container, but this place is pretty wacky. All right. Done. Embalming mm -hmm. fluid. Gone. Okay, we have two of those now. Done. It would be nice if I could press tab and see everything. I'm gone. And it's locked. Right. Okay. I wonder if I have to kill corpses to get it or... Well, we didn't see thread in any of these rooms. And I think we searched the containers. So I think we'll try this and then if not we'll go up those stairs there. We'll just give her the embalming fluid and see if she'll tell us anything. Okay, we have the option to study her. The rhythm of the talons reminds you of something, but you can't quite recall what. Okay, let's study them. Updated my journal. As you study the motion of Evine's hands, you feel a prickling along your scalp, and then suddenly you find your vision swimming, blurring, until... You are standing in front of a freshly slain corpse, rigor mortis making a mockery of its smile. The number 42 has been stitched onto its scalp. The zombie's lying on a slab and you've just finished stitching up its chest. You have placed something inside, something that may prove useful if you come this way again. It's not clear if we were doing that in some sort of dream state, or if Evine... What's in second person? Echo, keep these things safe and wait for my return. Oh, we got experience. The memory of your voice is an echo, strange and hollow to your ears. You cross your arms in front of your chest, and to your surprise, the corpse does too. After a moment, its hands fall back to its sides, and as it does, your v the vision fades. Until you are watching Avine's hands make their stitching motions once more. Okay. You have regained a memory. Memories can give you additional experience points, skills, and may even lead to your gaining something else of value later on. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll try to regain memories whenever we can. Okay, she doesn't want just the embalming fluid. She wants 